With Act Premium Cloud, you get on-demand access to the number one best-selling contact and customer manager in a secure cloud environment. Get up and running quickly and easily as we'll handle the technical steps like software upgrades and nightly backups of your data. In this video, I'll show you how to send your current database to our technicians so that it can be delivered to your ACT Premium Cloud environment. To begin, simply go to the welcome email that you received from ACT. The subject line should read, Welcome to ACT Premium Cloud. In this email, scroll down to locate the button that says Migrate Existing Data. Clicking this button will open a web form in your browser, which will walk you through the steps to upload your database. To begin, choose whether you want to upload an ACT database or a spreadsheet file that contains all of your data. If you'd like to upload your ACT database, you should first create a manual backup of your database. This will ensure that you are uploading the latest data from your ACT system. To create a backup of your ACT database, let's minimize this window and then we'll launch ACT separately. It's important to make sure you're logged into your database as an administrator or as someone who has permissions to perform backups. And once you've logged in, go to the File menu, and then from there, go to Backup, Database. Now you need to choose a destination where you want this backup file to exist. So we'll click the Browse button, and now we'll choose a location to save this backup file. It's a good idea to save it directly on your hard drive first rather than an external drive or a network location. This will make the backup and upload process go more smoothly. I'm going to choose the default location, My Documents Act, Act Data Backup. And I'm going to save my file as Act Backup. And then click the Save button. Now there are two more decisions you need to make at this point. First, you have to decide whether you want to include attachments from your Act database into your backup. And if you rely on attachments in your day-to-day -day operations, it's a good idea to include them here. However, it has the potential to increase the size of this backup file exponentially. Next, you need to decide whether you want to password protect this database backup file. If you decide to password protect it, you must provide this password during the upload process. If you lose or forget this password, it cannot be recovered by ACT technical support or ACT database services because this password is strictly tied to the zip file, not the ACT database. I'm not going to password protect my file, so I'm just going to click OK. Once the backup has been completed, a window will notify us of that. ACT has now backed up my database, my attached documents, my layouts, my document templates, my report templates, and all of my saved queries. So I can click OK in this window. Now I'm ready to upload my ACT database. So I'm going to go back to that web page with the upload form, and I'm going to make sure I have Upload an ACT database selected. Next, let's click the Browse button to locate the zip file of our ACT database backup. Now I remember I saved mine in My Documents, ACT, ACT Data, Backup. And there it is. So I'll click that to select it, and then click the Open button. Now I need to provide a username and a password for this database. I know that the administrator is Chris Huffman and he doesn't have a password, so I can leave the password field blank. And since I didn't choose to apply password protection to my backup zip file, I don't need to enter a password here. Now beneath all of these fields, you'll see a place where you can enter any special instructions to our data migration team. Use this field if you want the confirmation message to be sent to an additional email address, or if you just want to inform the technician of anything specific about your data. And once you've finished with all these fields, the Upload button will appear beneath. Click this button to begin your upload. If all goes well, you'll receive email confirmation in about one business day that your data has been migrated to your ACT Premium Cloud environment. But what if you want to migrate the data from another CRM? Well, you can still use this form to upload an Excel or CSV file of your contact data, and we'll import it for you. Here's how. At the top, instead of selecting Upload an ACT database, choose to upload a spreadsheet. Next, click the Browse button again to locate your Excel spreadsheet. This can be in either XLS or XLSX format, or you can also upload a comma-separated file. So I'll click the Browse button, and I'll locate my Excel spreadsheet or my comma-separated file, select it, and click Open. Again. You can use the Special Instructions field to enter any special instructions to our data migration team. 
Would you like some help formatting your Excel spreadsheet before uploading it? If so, you'll be able to download a blank email template from this screen to help you line up your data to the ACT standards. And once you're all set, click the Upload button to begin the upload process. You'll receive email confirmation of this or a notification if we've encountered any issues with your upload. Your data migration should be complete in one business day, and then you'll be ready to get started in ACT Premium Cloud.